Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's video. Now all of this week we've gone through and, and set up macros and scripts in VBA and now we want to have them load um, with sort of, I guess, you know, uh, command line shortcuts for each of those so that way you don't have to keep coming in here and typing in VBA man and then going through and loading the macros and then running the macros. Uh, it's a long-winded process, so we want to shortcut that a little bit. And we also want to automatically load this Lisp routine, uh, sorry, the, the VBA through a Lisp routine. So every time AutoCAD starts, the VBA uh, loads as well. And you might want to do this under a uh, profile here as well. So that way it's for, um, you know, your own uh, company or, or your own sort of AutoCAD setup. So that way you don't affect others as well. So I want to to load up um, under the startup I'm going to run the command oops just put a bracket in and we're doing a, v a VBA load so a, a dash VBA load means it's not going to load a dialog box and then I want to load up C drive temp project dot DVB and then close off the bracket Okay, and then I want to just uh, set the command echo to be off. And I now want to define the short command. So under when, it, when I type in, <coughs> excuse me, TNO2 on the command line, it will run a macro. So now we're saying define the command CNO2 to be this short shortcut or load up load up this macro. So command is now VBA run. So you could type this on the command line as well in, in long winded way. Uh, and then we're doing mod layers and TN02. Close off everything. Okay, so now we're saying on the command line when you type in TN02, run VBA run mod layers TN02. So it'll jump into this module here and then run this uh, sub here. Okay, and if I Type in layer just to show you. So TNO2 doesn't exist in here just yet, but I'm going to save this Lisp routine and I'm going to load it. And now TNO2 exists. When I type in TNO2 on the command line, you can see it creates it here uh, inside the layers. So it's essentially called up this routine and then gone through and done all the commands. And just to show you that again, like if I change it to to Cyan and I run TNO2 again, then it sets it all back. Now, under the CUI, so this is where you would add a, the, the new command. So when we do add a new command, I can come in here. So now the macro for this would just be TNO2. And then I can drag this macro onto the ribbon, onto the palette or onto wherever. And then that way uh, it would be, you know, forever embedded in the ribbon here so people could just reuse it over and over again. Okay, so to do the same thing for uh, blocks, so I will say uh, defund C drive TN blocks and then just run the command VBA run mod blocks dot TN blocks you don't have to name it the same as, as the, the command here. So I, I might just say uh, TNB is the short uh, command f to run the mod blocks, TN blocks uh, subroutine there. So I just save that, load that list routine again. So if I type in C drive TNB, where do you want to insert the block? There, and then there it is, okay? So that's how we can make short 
uh, command line commands linked back to uh, VBA applications in there. So have a play with that. And, and like I've said for this whole week, if you've got any queries, put them in the comment section below. Um, and I will try to endeavor them with a response or even another video, but we'll see how we go. And like usual, thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. But please do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon for daily notifications of all my videos. Uh, have a good weekend and I will see you next week for uh, some more Autodesk videos on something else. We'll have a play with uh, something outside of the, the programming realm and maybe something AutoCAD or Plant, but we'll, we'll see how we go. So again, thanks a lot and I'll see you next week. See you later.